Promotion chasing Middlesbrough make the trip to Villa Park this evening, fresh from their convincing win on the weekend against Bolton Wanderers and presumably full of confidence but this isn't an easy place to come. Villa are unbeaten here in all competitions this season. They would have hoped to have beaten Brentford on the weekend though, instead drawing 0-0. They've only won one league game this season. They'll certainly be hoping to make it two tonight. They don't come much tougher than Middlesbrough though. Free kick taken and there's a big deflection on it. Baker went from goal from some range. He trots across to take this corner. Out swinging. And the keeper had to be alert there. Johnston did well. And goes behind off of Terry for a corner. A really frantic opening to this game. Downing to take the corner from this near side. Aston Villa can break. Down the line from Hurahan and a late challenge from Traore. Oh, the Aston Villa fans certainly didn't like that. What a heated start to this game. The referee has a decision to make. It was a late challenge. The referee's taking his time over this. And it is a red card. Middlesbrough down to 10 men after only four minutes. An early red. Traore can't believe it, had such a good game on the weekend against Bolton Wanderers as well, was key to their win. But his game ends after only four minutes. You can see the devastation on his face. Middlesbrough will certainly feel that was a harsh red card. It was late though, Traore. And Villa could open the scoring here, but the Shot is straight into the arms of Darren Randolph. Now Mohamedi just slowing things down for Villa. They'll feel they can take their time and break down this solid Middlesbrough defence. Taylor skips onto his right foot, plays a lovely ball in. Goes for a penalty, nothing given though. Villa on top in this game. Really ball through from Taylor. The save was made. Now was that a penalty? Randolph clumsily taking down Lansbury. Chester, Borough happy to sit back and frustrate these Aston Villa attackers. Now Mohamedi, heavily involved in the opening of this game. They are a bit static at the moment though. Abraham thought about the long range effort. Taylor, good ball into the middle and the header was won. Snodgrass heading it straight into the hands of Randolph though. Villa have drawn their last two games. They're hoping for victory. Here this evening, especially playing against 10 men. Downing. Spell of possession now for Middlesbrough. Gibson. Clayton. Looking to make something happen for the away side. Barak growing into this game. Ball into the middle. Tipped over the crossbar. Sombolonga did well to climb and couldn't find the target. Terry, switch of the play. Lovely ball across to find Snodgrass. Takes on his man, chips it into the middle and somehow Bjarnason misses the target. Maybe put off by the outstretched arm of Darren Randolph. And it was an entertaining half, full of chances for Aston Villa. And the score remains 0-0. Need a bit more intensity and pace to their play. Adoma could certainly bring that, playing against his former sides, built by the goalkeeper. And somehow that stays out. 
and blocked again. How is this game still nil-nil? It was clear. The ball goes for a throw on. Lebitter. Dangerous pass back, but Randolph was alert. Aston Villa have picked up just six points from their opening six games. Still they need three points this evening. Just a growing confidence. Playing some lovely football now though. El Mohamedi, low ball across the area. And it was missed by Hogan. Middlesbrough survive and can come forward themselves now with pace and power. And that is a late challenge. It was poor from Lansbury. And it's a red card. Lansbury sent off. Aston Villa down to 10 men. Well, it was a late challenge and it was high from Lansbury. He was trying to stop Middlesbrough breaking. No attempt to play the ball. Both sides, a man down now. Barra will fill. They've done well to hold on with 10 men in this game and now they can... Relax a little bit more. Maybe play their game and get forward a bit more. Asombolonga did well to skip away from a challenge. Asombolonga, direct run. Asombolonga, good save. Johnson did well to get down and palm it away. Snodgrass, dangerous ball in, and the save made, and off the line by his own player, Murahan with a strike, oh, Hogan got in the way, dangerous ball across by Snodgrass, Codger did well, and how about that, off the line by Scott Hogan, Middlesbrough survive. <laughs> I think I want the free kick. And they get one. Barra have kept five clean sheets in their last six games in all competitions. They're hard to break down. Aston Villa are finding that out tonight. Can't find a way past at the moment. Taylor takes the throw. Hurahan. Terry with the ball into the area. Held up well by Snodgrass. Codger. Goes down rather theatrically though, and he's going to be booked for diving. It wasn't a natural fall. Gibson just gives him a piece of his mind. Has to be careful himself though. Tried to win the penalty. Gets a yellow card for his troubles. Johnson forward. Still no goals in this game. Are we to have a winner? Johnson gave the ball away, just tried a bit too much. Gibson, Clayton, Middlesbrough happy to slow things down and keep hold of possession. Randolph pumps it forward. Nobody forward for Middlesbrough though, and the ball goes straight through to Johnson. Middlesbrough lacking a bit of creativity there. Adoma. Snodgrass went down on the edge of the area. Nothing given though. Villa win a corner. And a roar goes up from their supporters. Can they find the goal? Drifted in towards the back post. And the shot from Hurahan over the top of the crossbar. Wild effort. I feel at the moment Middlesbrough will be happy with a point. There is the full time whistle. It's a third draw in a row for Aston Villa. Their second 0 0 in two games. 
Para surely will be pleased with a point after losing Traore so early on. Villa also ending the game with 10 men. Final score of Villa Park. Aston Villa nil. It was Brunel.